Big questions this morning for the Baltimore Police Department. How did 27-year-old Freddie Gray become so severely injured in custody that he died yesterday? Police have not explained why Gray was arrested or how he sustained those injuries. Let's bring in the attorney, William Murphy, Jr. He represents the family of Freddie Gray. Mr. Murphy, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Good morning. What have the Baltimore Police Department shared with you and the family about the arrest? Absolutely nothing. Um, the only things we know from the police are the things that they've said on television, and that hasn't been much at all. Uh, there is a video surveillance camera right above where Freddie, Green was Freddie Gray was arrested. And uh, that camera should tell at least the first part of the story about what happened to him from the beginning of the time the police first touched him uh, to the time that he was put into the uh, vehicle to so, be taken to the police station. So the police have not communicated with you or the family at all. Have, have they mentioned why they confronted Freddie Gray to begin with? No, and the officers evidently have taken the Fifth Amendment rather than cooperate with the police investigation. Well, the mayor, as you just heard, of Baltimore is promising a thorough investigation. Here's what she said yesterday. We have to move forward in a responsible way to determine all of the facts of this incident so that we can provide the community with the answers, the real answers that they deserve. Now, the city's chief prosecutor is investigating this, says that there's an investigation underway. Are you satisfied that the prosecutor will be able to come up with some real answers? Well, we're enthusiastic about the new prosecutor. She's newly elected, um, and she comes to uh, the office with a belief in uh, the integrity of these kinds of investigations. We have much more confidence in her. Uh, than we have in the police, because there's never been any level of confidence, nor should there be, in the police investigating themselves. So we, uh, we await the outcome of that investigation, and of course we're doing our own investigation simultaneously as far as we can. We've already interviewed about a dozen witnesses at the scene, uh, and uh, we've seen the police uh, or the uh, citizen videos uh, that have come uh, out concerning what happened. And so from your investigation, what do you believe happened? Well, what we do know for sure is that he was in good health when the police first contacted him, and he died of a, an 80% severed uh, spinal cord and three broken vertebrae in his neck. Is that what doctors and have told that's you? Not good. Is that Where are you getting that information, Mr. Murphy? We have our own sources at this point, and we're not at liberty to expose those sources, but I'm confident that that information is reliable. Something obviously grievous happened to him. Even in that video that we're watching, you can see at one point uh, the police dragging him, and it appears that uh, Mr. Gray's legs are limp. So something happened that we can't see on the video. What are witnesses telling you? Well, the witnesses' stories at this point um, are not as critical as the video, which will show uh, everything. Now, of course, if the video has no sound, and we think it won't have, uh, the witnesses will be important to fill in that part of what happened. But you can see him screaming in pain uh, as he has been dragging, or as he's being uh, dragged to the uh, police vehicle. And uh, that's problematic. And you can also see his legs are, appear to be limp and not moving, and that also suggests that the injury may have already happened at that point. Mm. But until we see the autopsy report and we await the outcome of the police investigation, and what I understand is a simultaneous investigation by the chief prosecutor of Baltimore, we'll know more about this. Mm. Now, bear in mind that Baltimore has a sorry history of police brutality and an even sorrier history in terms of a governmental response to police brutality. Mm -hmm. Typically, the police deny, 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 no matter what the facts are. And it is not unusual for them to promote the police officer even after he's been found guilty of brutality. We had one case, I handled this, where we got a $44 million verdict against a police officer who rammed my client into the brick wall be, uh, at the back of his holding cell and paralyzed him from the neck down. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that police officer was promoted to sergeant oh. uh, after the verdict against him. 
and the city refused to pay and made us appeal at every level. Mm. So we had to go to the Court of Special Appeals, the Court of Appeals, we yep. won in all of the appellate courts, and still they wouldn't pay the verdict. Well, so we, it's a sorry, sorry uh, situation. Mr. Murphy, can you tell us how the family of Freddie Gray is processing all of this? Oh, they're broken up completely. They're, they're barely able to uh, absorb these tragic events. These things happen so quickly, and uh, it's a real tragedy. Mm -hmm.